Okay, let's see. Let's try this again. How much more do I have to fight? Yeah. Animal 2 and Animal 3 again. Oh, god damn. Okay. Let's see if I can power through this. Oh, that's one gone. That's an improvement. Not too sure if you're gonna be able to pull that off with the Animal 3, but you might as well give it a go. Let's see, heal up Drear, there you go. Have you guys attack, why the fuck not? And if the Banish Demon doesn't take, I guess I'm just gonna wait on him. Yeah. Fuck it then. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? Uh, I could move Drear so Tom can attack too, I guess. Maybe that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna have Sierra keep using the Frost Plater, like, non-stop. Should be useful. It's gonna take heaps of mana, but it's probably worth it. Let's see, um... Well... Here we go, I guess. Downing all the potions I have. It's probably worth it. I think I'm getting close to the end of the dungeon. Anyway, I would hope so, because goddamn, this has been going on forever. Has this not been like the most massive dungeon? This side of Dungeon Town. Or like any RPG. Most of them. I guess besides perhaps the weird bonus Final Fantasy shit, but still. Okay, um, hmm. Yeah, I guess, I guess now it's just a matter of wailing on him. There you go, that went by surprisingly fast. I guess we could do that again if we really needed to, but I think I might instead actually rest. Take this a bit carefully. Alright, it's actually took quite a bit more messing around than I would have hoped, but I finally managed to clear out all the bullshit in this room. So let's see what the actual reward is. Hopefully it's something useful. I was fairly convinced that there's supposed to be some useful junk in this, but... I might be wrong. Huh. Why is this all different? Huh. Okay, let's see. Um, can I examine? A trunk with metal fixtures with nothing. Can I not open it? Are you kidding? It doesn't have anything. What about the other side? You're kidding me, right? I didn't do this for no reason. Let's see, junk. Junk. And... A lock chest, okay. Ooh, look at that. Now that is worth it. That is a whole heap and ton of gems. Which I'm gonna keep, because I'm pretty convinced that you can actually sell these for a lot more in the next town over, which we're gonna get to pretty soon, so... Can I stack these? No. Oh, well, that's some nice loot. And a whole bunch of coins as well, Jesus, and Luke's dagger, I'm assuming 12 damage for protection. Uh, so it's basically a protective sword. 
I guess I should give it to Rainer. I mean, why not? No. Yeah. And then we basically have a bonus sun dagger, which I might actually give to somebody else, or should I? Uh, I technically could give it to Sira. We'll see, we'll see. I'm gonna keep it for now. And all this dodge, look at this. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so that was in fact worth it. Not to mention the XP I got from actually slaughtering all those monsters. And that means I can finally, finally save my game yet again and get towards actually finishing this because wow biggest dungeon known to man as I probably mentioned before uh, this game has like multiple islands, and each island has its own storyline. Yeah, and this one basically is just literally this, like do this one giant dungeon. <laughs> That's all there is to it. Uh, shit, I got those um magic wands. I should probably use those first. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna find the place where I was supposed to use them. Yeah, it was right here. Basically in a different section of the same level I'm not too sure if this is actually worth it but I'm I've saved my games so I'm just gonna give it a go if it turns out to be a waste I'm just gonna reload because as you can tell these rods are basically one use only which is a huge pain in the ass Friends, it's my fault we have fallen down here. I will go through these luminous fields so we can continue. No, we just disarmed them. Fuck that. You're an idiot, Rear. You might be good at combat, but you're a bit of a numpty. And yeah, there doesn't really seem to be anything here. Uh... What do I do about that? I guess I, I'm just gonna have to go back. Alright, so that was a bit of a bust. I'm, I'm starting to figure out, like, last time I went through that area, I probably discovered uh, the secret route by accident. And the game basically allowed me to... Uh, exit without having to like sacrifice three or empty. He probably would have died like really really hard. Which might be funny, but we can't really lose Trier. He's kind of our ace in the hole, so here we go. Let's see, before I waste before I waste my thing is there something else to this room? I mean, you could fall down the holes, obviously. But I'm wondering if there's like... Some sort of button on the walls. This place has plenty of secrets. Let's see, um... If there would be a button, it would be right there. But I can't really tell. Can I get there without falling down the holes? Like an idiot. Mm, yeah, there's nothing here. Nothing here. Fuck it. I guess we're gonna go. We are getting fairly close to the end now, if I'm not mistaken. I would hope. Jesus. There you go. Now it's all about wasting as little rods as I can. Mm. 
mm, 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 mm. so I'm gonna keep a good eye out for anything. Yeah, there's a button right there. Uh, do I want a button? Probably. I probably do, right? Oop. I have no idea what that did. Ooh. Secret. Sweet. Okay, that's probably worth it. Um. Uh. Okay, never mind. Seems like a bit of an empty room. So, if the pickups here are not worth it, I'm gonna have wasted one of those things. Ah, uh, I gotta waste a lockpick too. We get a power amulet. I'm assuming that's worth it. I'm pretty sure that sort of increases your melee strength. Let's see, um, who do I give that to? I guess Trier, I mean, pretty soon he's gonna get like three attacks, so. That might help just a little bit. It actually increases his life points. Really now? Ah. That means I have a silver chain to spare, which I'm gonna give to Sira. You can wear that, right? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's totally worth it. Anything else? Doesn't quite look like it. I guess I'm gonna go. I really hope I have enough of those rods. We got three left. One. Two. Please let this be the last one. There you go. And that leads us to the next level, Jesus Christ. Yeah, we're still not done. But we're getting there. We are getting there. I do think this is the final level, if I'm not mistaken. And I think if you drop down the holes, you actually drop down here. Don't know what to deal is with this wall, but... Do, do, do. Seems fairly peaceful, I was gonna say, until you interrupted me. God damn it. Okay, let's see. Um, ooh, that's a lot of bugs. And some fears as well. Not to worry, I'm pretty sure Dreer with his new toy is gonna fuck some major ass. Man, that's what I thought. Uh, next up, we use Zira to blind this boy. And we can immediately use Dreer to start attacking it. Um, Malthas, you can train something useful. How about Berserk? How about shield? A shield takes a lot of mana. Um. Yeah, just go with Berserk, that's fine. Drear is gonna be an absolute tank with his amulet. It's amazing. Beep. Jesus. Do 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 do. Um, might as well use the blinding ray, I guess. I mean, they're all like neatly stacked in a row. Might as well. Can I just cast Berserk on Trier, make him into an absolute powerhouse? I 
I don't think I need it, but still. Oh, did you just break my hat? How dare you? I'm trying to train my spells, but at the same time not waste too much of my mana because I've seen those fears. Let's see, um, you can keep doing that, you can start attacking those, and I guess you can heal. And you, what am I gonna do with you? You don't really have much in the way of attack spells, do you? And except for the Frost Splinter. That's like the only thing. Um... Fuck it. Let's train something. Unless I just use you to attack. Maybe that's a better idea. There you go. Don't kill Rainer, please. Okay, this is looking pretty sweet. You... I guess I want you to keep your mana for now. There you go. God, Drear is such a madman. I love it. He completely wrecks ass. Too bad about his hat, but we're gonna get that fixed, buddy. Don't worry about it. We have more than enough money. And I pretty much bought up all the useful equipment on the entire island, so... Fear 1, Fear 1. Huh, these are not as bad as I thought. Maybe I can just wail on this one. Uh, banish the other one. And then you... Hmm, what am I gonna do with you? How about sleep spores? Oh, that's not good. He just took out my two best dudes. That is a problem. And I don't think I really have any way to, like, get rid of fleeing juice. Um, shit. Fuck it, I'm gonna go all out. Don't you even... Oh, Rainer managed to block completely. Jesus. How did you guys do that? And there you go. I guess that should help. Um... Oh, Drew, buddy. I could really use you. And then Syrah can attack for now. Oh, it defrosts really fast. Guess it makes sense, being a demon, but still. Fuck it. Ooh, wow, they actually do a lot of melee damage as well. Kinda makes sense with those hands, but... Yeah, well, damn. This should hold, though. I'm assuming this should hold. As long as they attack. ASAP. Come on, lads. There you go. Ah, uh, this is doable. This is fine. This is fine. I can deal. Let's see, I'm gonna use Malthas to heal... Tom. I'm gonna use you to do absolutely nothing useful. There you go. Maybe that was the wrong target, but there you go. Um, you. There you go. And there, uh, attack, 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 uh, maybe we should deal with the green one first, we're gonna have Drear wail on the yellow one as fast as we can, so. And I guess I can use you for your final frost crystal. It should do it. As long as they don't kill anybody. Shit. 
Okay, Dreer has gone insane. I think that means he's gonna start attacking our buddy, so I gotta get rid of that really fast. Uh, let's see. Insanity. Can I get rid of insanity? Somehow. And yeah, there we go. That works. Um, what's next? You guys haven't really done anything, have you? Come on, finish it. Might as well use your magic, I mean... Why not at this point? That's when? Um... I guess I can have you cast... Thorn Trap? Why not? It's probably not going to work on a flying enemy, but... Whatever. I guess it does. It does one damage. Fantabulous. What the hell? Why did you receive damage? Are you by any chance an idiot? I can't believe Dreer still hasn't managed to kill the Warniac though. Jesus. Oh my god. Okay, so Dreer is poisons. I have an antidote, that's fine. Wait, what? Is it like big boy poison? Ill. He's ill and poisoned. Fantastic. There you go. How about you down the potion as well? Sweet. Uh, can you guys finish it, please? Jesus, holy Christ. This fight is getting a bit sad. There you go. Oh, come on, Dreer. What is wrong with you, buddy? Yeah, I don't know what his deal is, but Dreer just sort of refuses. What is wrong with you? Why do you keep not attacking? He's just not attacking, I think. Something's up. I don't know what. Uh, I need a different plan. Let's see. Can I just use the Frost Splinter? Can I move Drear? There you go. Fucking finally! That was a fight and a half, and for all the bad reasons. Like, there's no reason I should have taken that long. Alright, time to continue. Um, I'm starting to doubt whether I should take one more rest just to regain my mana. I'm not too sure how big this level still is. Because I keep hearing buzzing sounds and I don't like it. Wait, that's it. Barrow, whom they were looking for, has wandered into this neglected room. His desperation quickly changes to joy when he sees his rescuers and especially Malthas. Malthas, you found your old dumb Adio. Malthas embraces his foster father wordlessly, because he can't talk, duh. Then they both go to the companions. Sweetums, with a lot of gestures, he sort of points out that we're his mates. And also Syra, yeah. There we go. Barrow is greeted with a warm welcome from some and sharp words from others. And thus we meet the head honcho. I think I can save myself the reprimand. You know what you have risked. 
It was certainly a mistake to climb down to Drino. However, I only regret having put Malthas and his companions into danger. I would like to thank all my rescuers again, yet not to mention time. This place was huge. With which I would like to concur. Beru is quite often a pig-headed plague, but nonetheless, I am happy to have him back with us in one piece. Now, as I have understood, a well unusual incident has happened between Malthas and uh, Syra. Uh, yeah, they did uh, interspecies nasty. We would like to continue this journey together. I, I, <laughs> I'm assuming you would. I wish you much luck. Not everyone here in Kratikel would understand the bond between human and this guy, and so perhaps it is better that you go be a furry somewhere else. I must ask you of a specific amulet. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. We were here for like the Viagra amulet. Jesus Christ. Here you have the strength amulets. Is the least I, I had one of those. I could have just given that. Oh dear Jesus. I didn't even need it. I could have just taken my own. Gave it to the dude and fucked off. Left Barrow to his own devices, but there you go. Um, since I didn't manage to level up Melthas quite enough, and I'm not sure how much XP I still need. I guess I'm gonna have to. Oh, but I still have the Banished Demons and Demon X. Okay, it's fine. I have the scroll, so I can keep going. I'm gonna do one more round to make sure I didn't miss any useful spells, but. Apart from that, that's pretty much it. Alright buddy, you've got no goddamn clue what I actually had to go through to, to get this, but I have your stupid amulet. Oh wait, it's not this guy. Or is it? Oh, there you go, yeah. I had to show it, show it to him. No. Just for this little errand, yeah, sure. And this should allow us passage of the island, finally, if I can find the fisherman. Not too sure where he is, he's somewhere around here. It's this dude, isn't it? Pretty sure. The price for crossing is 200 pieces and permission, which I do. And as we set sail yet again. Tom and his companions board the ship and later begin the trip to Beluvenu, the great harbor city. That's where things are gonna start getting interesting. Drear uses the passing time to teach everyone the Mini language. The time flies by until finally Mini looms in the horizon. Before long, a magnificent view of the new land in Belovenu, the harbor city, appears. Sweet, look at that. It's a pretty big place. I'm gonna actually have to spend quite some time exploring it. Just the city alone. Karis maneuvers the ship skillfully into the harbor and says farewell. Thanks, buddy. And there we go, I guess next time. I will meet you guys inside Belovenu. Here we are in Beloveno, my friends. I would propose that first we look around the city. Maybe we'll learn about the Toronto. Anyhow, we have to try to make progress. We have a lot to accomplish in the large city. 